Today we're starting gallery of graphs, in particular this one here is rectangular hyperbola. The rectangular hyperbola has the rule of y equals 1 on x, and of course x cannot equal 0 because you can't divide by 0. So this, at x equals 0, we have an asymptote. So we should mark it with dots like this and do this, and label it as well. And if we arrange it, we get x equals 1 on y, and of course y cannot equal 0, so we have an asymptote at y equals 0. So again, mark it with dots, like this. Then, that's just the normal standard one. The general rule becomes a divided by x minus b plus c. This a here has the same function as everything else. It's the dilation of fact a from the x-axis. The x minus b has the same function as before. It translates it either left or right. And of course, don't use those words. Use the words that have got negative direction of the x-axis or positive direction of the x-axis. And the plus c translates it either in the positive direction or the negative direction of the y-axis. Just like before, the asymptotes become, when this equals 0, so at x equals b, and just the c itself. So the asymptotes change. The normal graph, of course, if it's positive, it's in that and that direction. If it's negative, it's in those quadrants there. So very important. Example 1 says sketch y equals 1 divided by x minus 3 plus 3. Now, this has asymptotes at x equals 1 and y equals 3. So if I was to start sketching it, it will look something like this. Sorry about the lines being crooked. I'm just doing it off freehand. 1, 2, there, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. So the asymptotes that we have are at x equals 1. So I'll mark those in first. x equals 1 at y equals to 3. So I like that. And I know that because it's a positive graph here, and I'm looking at this quad, so there's the graph there, and I should probably get x equals to 2 and find out what x equals to 2 is, and the other one is in this quadrant over here. I'm just going to work out where it crosses the x and y intercepts. So x intercept, I put y equal to 0, just like I did before, and I got 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 3 equals 0, 0. 1 divided by x minus 1 equals negative 3, 1 equals minus 3x plus 3. So minus 3x will equal negative 2. So x will equal 2 thirds. The y intercept at x equals to 0 gives me y equals 1 divided by negative 1 plus 3. So y equals negative 1 plus 3. So y equals to 2. So the crosses there and at two-thirds, which I'll just write as two-thirds there. And so the graph has that shape there. This is so we can get our shape properly and also so that we can mark down where it crosses the, the intercepts. I'm just going to label it. There it is there. The second one, example 2 says, Sketch the graph of y equals 2 divided by x plus 1 minus 3. Again, the asymptote is at x plus 1 equal to 0, so x equals negative 1, and at y equals negative 3. It's still a positive there, so we don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to quickly sketch it over here. Again, I'll work out if it needs to work, if I need to work out x and y intercept. I'm not going to do that first. So we've got 1, 2, 3. 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Put my asymptotes down at x equals negative 1, which is right here. x equals negative 1, y equals to negative 3. y equals negative 3, they become the new axes. So my graph, being a positive graph, will go through here, 
is fine. It's not crossing anything. I can get a better shape if I want to. I'll just extend this. And it will cross over here somewhere. So I need to find the x-intercept and y-intercept. So x-intercept, y equals to 0. And I get 2 divided by x plus 1 minus 3 equals 0. 2 divided by x plus 1 equals 3. So 2 equals 3x plus 3. 3x will equal 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So x equals negative a third. And then the y-intercept, put x equals to 0. And we get y equals 2 divided by 1 minus 3. So y equals 2 minus 3. So y equals negative 1. So these ones cross at negative 1 and negative a third, which is about there. So negative a third. Negative 1 is already there. Get my graph and it comes down to here. Along the asymptote. Goes through there, through there and then along the asymptote again. So this one is y equals 2 divided by x plus 1 minus 3. Example 3. Sketch y equals negative 2 divided by x minus 1. Again work out your asymptotes. So this one here. As an asymptote at x minus 1 equals to 0, so x equals 1. And y asymptote stays as it was, y equal to 0. So when I start to sketch this, and remember this is a negative graph, so it's going to go in the second and fourth quadrant. I get y and x. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. Mark my asymptotes in at x equals to 1, x equals 1, and y equals to 0. We're doing it in different colours so you can see y equals to 0. Being a negative graph, it goes in the second quadrant. So this one and this one. Well, this one I can do. There's a rough graph. I'll do it in green. I should get at least a point to get the graph right and this one I need to find where well, it crosses the y-intercept I don't need it the x-intercept so y-intercept you put x equal to 0 you get y equals minus 2 divided by minus 1 which equals 2 so this one crosses there so I know that my graph gives me this sort of shape and it's y equals negative 2 divided by x minus 1. So that's why it's important to know which graphs are in the positive and where they are for the negative. You can sketch these normally, just using a normal calculator. You know, you calculate and y equals and just press graph. 5a questions.